Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to do Selena Gomez's makeup look from the latest video Who Says. And she's a very beautiful girl, so I think it's really great to be able to copy her looks and show them to you guys. And this is one of them. So if you're interested in this very wearable look, then continue watching. Okay, let's start off with priming our lids, since this is the only way to prevent your eyeshadows from creasing. Now go on to Urban Decay's Naked Palette. This is the only palette that we're going to use today. Using a flat shader brush, apply naked eyeshadow to the two-thirds of your upper lid and leave outer corner blank. Take an angled brush and apply an angled black line to outer corner. This is going to be the darkest point in our makeup. I'm using Creep Eyeshadow to do so. Use a pointed brush to apply shimmery brown eyeshadow right next to the line that we have just created. Apply the eyeshadow to the one-fourth of your lid. Don't blend the eyeshadow, not yet. Now using the same brush, apply a darker tone of shimmery brown eyeshadow on top of the lighter eyeshadow that we have just applied. This eyeshadow should be very close to the black line and should not be wider than the lighter shade of brown. Once this is done, use a fluffy brush to smudge all the harsh lines. And in case needed, add more color to empty areas. Now let's move on to the highlighter. Add it under the arch of your brow and to the inner corner of your eye. Also, add this color on top of your naked eyeshadow. This will make the look softer and even more wearable. In case needed, use a fluffy brush again to soften any harsh lines. Move on to the eyeliner. First, I'm taking 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil on Zero, or what's actually left of it, and I'm applying it to my waterline. Then I'm moving on to the combination of Creep and Dark Horse eyeshadows, which I'm going to apply close to my upper lash line. Although being not very visible, this step also adds so-called natural volume to your lashes. Speaking of lashes, curl them first, and then apply mascara. The next step would be our cheeks. Using an angled blush brush, I'm applying a new pink blush to my cheekbones. Now, if you happen to have any spots on that area, apply some concealer on top of your blush and then slightly dab the product with your fingers. This way your blemishes will be covered without spoiling the blush. Finally, lips. Today I'm going to use waterproof lip pencil in order for my lips to maintain color longer. First, I'm creating the contour to my lips and then I'm filling my lips with the same product. On top, I'm applying a nude lip gloss by Berry M. By the way, it is number two. And here is the final look. Hope you have fun watching this tutorial. Stay always happy, healthy, and gorgeous. And see you next time. Bye.